video solutions for gate 2011 ECE paper the topic we are discussing is electron devices we are in the series of two marks question discussion the second two marks question given in gate 2011 is for the given circuit of mass transistors mu n COX is equal to 100 microamperes per volt square and threshold voltage VT is 1 volt the voltage Vx at the source of upper transistor is A. 1 volt B. 2 volts C. 3 volts D. 3.67 volts Look at that circuit diagram given mu n into COX mu n into COX is nothing but the value of process transconductance it is generally indicated with K Kn for n mass transistors Kp for p mass transistors here in this circuit diagram both are n mass transistors upper n mass transistor is given with gate of 5 volts lower n mass transistor is gate and drain are connected to shorted so here for this one what is the output voltage Vx given W by L ratio of upper transistor is 4 W by L ratio of lower transistor is 1 and the input move power supply is 6 volts so we need to calculate the value of Vx whether it is 1 volt 2 volts 3 volts 3.67 volts we have to calculate this one the right answer for this question is 3 volts we see the details the given parameters for the given diagram is mu n COX for this one it is stated as process con transconductance it is indicated with KN for N mass that is 100 microamperes per volt square given threshold voltage of 1 volt and Vx Vx is nothing but output that is nothing but source of upper transistor or drain of lower transistor why we are going like this why we are saying transistor n mass transistor always drain will be at more positive voltage than source for n mass always drain will be at more positive voltage than source whereas for p mass source will be at more positive voltage than drain so that both are going to be n mass transistors the arrow indicates current is always flows from drain to source both are n mass transistors and this is 6 volts what we are applying is highest voltage and this is ground so this must be drain for the upper transistor and as you are looking voltage drop is going to be taking place from 6 to ground so that this will be higher than 0 volts so this is drain for this transistor which this point is also treated as source for upper transistor because drain of this one is 6 volts this is treated as source of upper transistor and this point is treated as drain of lower transistor and this is source of lower transistor this is gate of lower transistor gate of upper transistor which is at 5 volts W by L ratio it is also called as aspect ratio which is 4 for upper transistor is 1 for lower transistor so we need to calculate Vx output value for that one what we can say is nothing but since both n mass transistors are in series same current flows in both transistors always current flows from drain to source in n mass transistor to get this one this is current is coming from 6 volts and it is going through this drain and it is entered into source and after entering into source it is going to be flowing into drain of lower transistor and it enters into source of lower transistor it never goes to this gate side the current entering into gate side is always zero because it is protected by silicon dioxide layer which act as insulator so there is no gate current always the IG gate current flowing is zero so that entire current which is coming from 6 volts is also going through both transistors so LO implies nothing but lower transistor UP is nothing but upper transistor ILO is equal to IUP since both transistors are in series 
now we will see what is the region of transistor operation based on that one we have different current equations and we are going to write the different current equations and equate them then we are going to find the Vx value so condition for saturation region for any mass transistor okay for n mass transistor this is the condition drain voltage must be greater than Vg minus Vb this is condition for saturation region so it is also greater than or equal to you can make equal also ok so for satisfied condition Vd must be greater than Vg minus Vt threshold voltage so now we will check for the lower transistor lower transistor will always be under saturation region why because whose gate and drain are going to be shorted gate and drain are shorted is nothing but gate voltage is same as drain voltage so drain voltage is going to be definitely greater than gate voltage minus some threshold voltage so here vd is nothing but drain voltage vg is nothing but this one and you are subtracting some threshold voltage so definitely this value is going to be less than that vd so always lower transistor will be in saturation condition satisfied for all time for upper transistor vd upper is greater than vg upper transistor minus vt vd is nothing but this one upper transistor for this one drain is nothing but 6 volts it is connected at and gate is connected at 5 volts threshold voltage of the transistor is given as 1 volt so 6 volts is nothing but drain voltage 5 volts is gate voltage minus threshold voltage is 1 so 6 is greater than 4 this is also always true so we can say that one both upper and lower transistors are in saturation and same current flows in both so that drain current of upper transistor is equal to drain, drain current of lower transistor and we have the equation for the saturation current beta by 2 into vgs minus vt whole square that equation we are using it for the upper transistor separately and lower transistor separately beta is nothing but k into w by l so that beta by 2 of upper transistor can be written as kn by 2 into w by l of upper transistor into vgs can be written as vg minus vs for upper transistor vgs for lower transistor also can be written as vg minus vs and k value is same for both transistors it is given as 100 microampere per volt square so kn by 2 kn by 2 get cancels w by l of upper transistor is given as 4 w by l of lower transistor is 1 and you are substituting the values known so this is 4 multiplied by vg of upper transistor gate voltage of upper transistor is 5 volts that we are writing over here source voltage of upper transistor is vx next threshold voltage is 1 volt whole square is equal to w by l of lower transistor is 1 it is given in the question next gate voltage of lower transistor this is gate voltage which is connected to drain that is nothing but vx so gate voltage of lower transistor is vx minus source voltage of vx lower transistor which is grounded so 0 threshold voltage is 1 volt take square root on both sides you are getting it as 2 into 5 minus vx minus 1 vx minus 1 this is after simplification you are getting vx is equal to 3 volts so the required output voltage is 3 volts for the given question so the right answer is c 3 volts